going to ask is, is in relation to the uncertainty around the survival of our post office network, the mail distribution network, which is the four, which is the four mail centres, um, and the question in, uh, in terms of the options for the survival of the uh, post office network and the mail centres. Uh, we've had, Minister, we've had Kerr, uh, we've had Mackenzie. Uh, what's happened to Kerr? Uh, two years or so was spent gearing, cranking that up and having reports. But we're in the dark as to what's happening with it. People are concerned, people who work in the industry and the general public are concerned. Thank you, uh, Deputy Stanley. Uh, I think a bit more because it's a grouped question, questions number 54 and 57 together. Uh, as Minister for Communications. No. So, but you will have your opportunities. Uh, as the Minister for Communications, Climate Action and Environment, I have responsibility for the postal sector, including the governance of on post, to ensure the company is fully compliant with the code of practice for the governance of state bodies and the governance functions included in the statutory framework underpinning on post. Operational matters in the role uh, of developing commercial strategies for on post mails and retail businesses, including the post office network, are a matter for the board and the management of on post, and not one which I, as Minister, have a statutory function. Consequently, measures to maintain, enhance and diversify the post office network are fundamentally a matter for on post. The Post Office Network Business Development Group was established at the end of 2014 by the then Minister for Communications, Energy and Natural Resources to explore the potential for commercial and, uh, and additional government services which should be transacted through the Post Office Network. In fact, I was one of the people who made a submission to that particular group. Uh, following the publication of the final report this uh, of this group in January of 2016, two working groups were established to progress the recommendations of the report, namely the Network Renewal Implementation Group, chaired by Mr Bobby Carr, and the Post Office uh, Hub Working Group, chaired by Minister Michael Ring. On foot of a reconfiguration of government departments in July last year, responsibility for the post office network transferred to the Minister for Arts, Heritage, R R Regional, Rural and Gwaltaith Affairs. That department published the final report of the post office hub working group in March, in which it was uh, outlined that they intended pursuing the possible opportunities for services such as community banking and motor tax renewal for the network. Arrangements are in hand to reassign responsibility for the post office network to my department, given my overall responsibility for post. In relation to the Network Renewal Implementation Group report, this was undertaken by uh, Mr Bobby Kerr for post. I understand that, they, that it is under consideration by post. It is government policy that Ampost remains a strong, viable company uh, in a position to provide high quality nationwide postal service that maintains a nationwide customer focused network of post offices in the community. However, the environment in which the post office operates is changing and the network needs to change to thrive, particularly with the move to digital transactions. This involves harnessing existing strengths such as the trusted brand and the relationship of postmasters with individual communities to build the network uh, of the future. The post office plays an important role in serving the needs of businesses and domestic customers alike, and this is to the forefront of any uh, forefront of on post mandate. The House will be aware that a fundamental review of on post, including the post office network, which will identify the strategic changes and restructuring necessary to maintain the company in a sound financial footing, uh, is ongoing. Naturally, the outcome of the review will impact on the extent to which the recommendations contained in the above-mentioned network renewal and post office hub reports can be implemented. While decisions relating to the restructuring on post and the operation of the post office network are operational matters for the board uh, and the management of on post, I am monitoring the position closely and hope that a pragmatic approach will be uh, approach which will ensure the long-term sustainability of on post and the post office network can be agreed. I have had a number of meetings with uh, the CEO and the Chairman, and my officials also meet on post on a regular basis. I have encouraged on post to uh, continue to work closely with all parties to find an agreed solution to the renewal of the network. Government will be briefed once a definitive strategy has been agreed, but until such time it would not be appropriate for me to comment further on this process. The post office network has evolved a social role in the widest meaning of the term, which is highly valued by local communities. I envisage a strong future for the post office network, 
by using its existing strengths to remain a significant player in the provision of government, financial and other services. It has been a long-standing policy that Ampost remains in a position to, com complete, to compete in a liberalised market and continue to provide wide-ranging services to urban and rural communities. Uh, I also want to be clear that there is no threat to the mail's delivery or the universal service obligation. On post will continue to deliver on post to every address, every working day, which is an EU requirement. The recent amended approach to the pricing aims to ensure that on post can fulfil uh, its obligation uh, in this area. Uh Deputy Stanley. Reply, but um, I'm not that uh, in, much enlightened from the reply. Could you just say that that the the issue here is well, we, can, we now know that responsibility is back with you. There was three ministers dealing with it, and that certainly caused a lot of problems for every one of us. Um, you said in relation to operational matters being a matter for on post. Uh, yes, strictly speaking, that's it. But you are the shareholder on behalf of the general public, of jo on Joe and Mary Soap's behalf all our behalves. So you have a responsibility here. You can't be just a spectator and a minister. Uh, the reviews are ongoing since 2014. Uh, we know now the care report appears to be buried. Mackenzie is ongoing. What I'm concerned about here is the mail centres like Port Leash and Athlone. Uh, the situation with them, you know, what's the future of the four mail centres? Port Leash, for example, has 200 people working in it, 180 extra at Christmas, 450 mails in and out traffic in and out at night, uh, items of mail, 28,000 parcels, way over even what the capacity that is built to handle. So it's a very, very busy centre. There was a new facility built on there recently as well to handle uh, distributions. So if you want leaflets rent and distributed, they have a separate building now for that. And that's a great success. The question here is, is this. What is, and you, you have to have a handle on this, and we have to, the public expect us, the public own this network, this Question. is a semi-state company, Question. and I'm fed up coming in here and hearing ministers saying this is that one removed from us. We can't do it. It's an operational matter. Minister, and taking what they're given, yeah. taking what they're given by the uh, CEOs Minister. of semi-state companies, we yeah. have an interest in this on behalf of the public. Thanks, you are our representative. I have met the manager of Unpost, the CEO of Unpost, as well around these issues. Yeah, we're, we're all concerned we're about it, Minister. Uh, Minister, you have one minute. Yes, I am concerned about it. I visited the mail centre in Athlone. Um, I spoke to the staff uh, in it. The, uh, well, I'm a local TD as well uh, in relation to it. And in fact, the only one that the, the care, or that um, Mackenzie's didn't visit was Athlone. So I felt it was appropriate to visit uh, the centre in Athlone. I know that there's a spare building in Athlone that could easily cater for, for additional volume in, as well. Uh, and I'm also of the view, contrary to some people when I came into uh, the role that I'm in at the moment, uh, that the universal service obligation for me is critical infrastructure. And there was a debate uh, last November and December when we were considering the serious difficulty that on post was in uh, about uh, altering that universal service obligation or looking for commission approval to alter it. Uh, and I wasn't prepared to entertain that because I think one of the uh, strong advantages that, that on post has is the fact that it has a van uh, uh, passing every door five days a week, um, every week of the year. It's also trusted uh, by the public. It has brand recognition and it has that nationwide network. And I think what we need to do is to put a plan in place that builds on those four uh, key strengths. And I believe that it can, a plan can be put in place that can not only sustain the post office network long into the future, but also oh the mail's business with the potential to grow, particularly in the I'll parcel area. And then give you two. I will take a final uh, supplementary from Deputy Stanley and then two questions from Deputy Brohan. The British Mail Centre in his reply. And that loan is critical, of course, for the West and the North East, and you know that. I welcome the fact that you visited. But what we're concerned about here is that we have only four major mail centres, and the future of them is critical in terms of distribution, and they are moving into the parcel network now. And on post have emphasised that too, and that's, that's very, very good that that's happening. I welcome your re reaffirming again your commitment to the USO. We're all on the one page on that one, and we've made some suggestions in our conversations with on post about you know how that can be uh, done and made more efficient. But it's important; it's absolutely essential that that five-day delivery is maintained. The the issue here is is that the post office network and the future of the mail centres are intertwined. And for a long time there, there was different ministers dealing with different branches of this, and it is in danger of going all over the place in different directions. 
Now that you have responsibility passed back to you, and I know you're interested in this, I will give you that, I'm asking you to take a direct interest in this and to pull this together in terms of moving the project forward to retain the mail centres in that loan port leash, which are taking overflows, by the way, from the capital city overflow business that they can't handle, uh, that, we, that we retain as many post offices as possible. But the key thing, Minister, is this. It's like watching paint dry. We're waiting for years for the new services to be developed at the post offices. Grimaldi. All the suggestions no. have been there. There's broad consensus in this Minister, House, and there's broad consensus in, in the communities about it. And if we move ahead and make, Minister, the, sorry, the, make the network viable. Deputy. Uh, look, Deputy Stanley, I understand your frustration in relation to this. Uh, because when I was over on that side of the House, and there was previous ministers here, many of them, I question what their commitment was to the post office network, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and, and I was equally frustrated that there was no movement in relation to it. Let me make it clear that I see digital, uh, rather than looking at it as, as a threat to the post office network, as an actual enabler. And I think there's huge potential there. Uh, and the difficulty has been up to, up to now that right across uh, this sector, digital was seen as a threat. And it was like trying to hold the tide back. Uh, I think we have a chief executive in place now and on post that sees the huge potential uh, and resource that is there. And like, in fairness to on post, you know, uh, and it has been very slow to get back into the Parsons business. It got out of the Parsons business when it was actually beginning to grow. Uh, its competitors got into it at that stage. But I think the one strong thing that on post has at the moment is the universal service obligation. And it needs to exploit that asset as much as possible. And in fairness, they're developing a pilot now in four towns at the moment to see how they can actually better utilise the fact that they they have vans going out of our towns Am into good? rural areas on a five-day basis. And I think that is one small step in the right direction. Thank you, Minister. Uh, uh, Debbie Tommy Brown has two questions. First supplementary. Uh, uh, thanks, Ken. Uh, well, Minister, again, you said that the, the uh, operational matters uh, of Impost are, are for the board and the management, uh, but you know, clearly you have an overriding responsibility. And it's not uh, obviously just a rural issue, it's also very much the, the threat to the uh, often quoted 256 uh, post offices. It's, you know, it's across both rural and indeed Ireland, um, um, urban Ireland. But you told me last December that the strategic review uh, w would report in May. Uh, and we're now coming up to the end of June. Uh, so, I mean, what is the time, time frame on that? And in relation to the, uh, the, the CARE, um, the, National, uh, the Network Business Development Group report, um, uh, ha have you uh, yourself invigilated that each of the targets, uh, each of the new areas of development uh, could be proceeded with? And, and in relation to the additional funding that was to be provided. Now, uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, Ken, uh, we, we had a, a major threat to our post office in Hoth. Uh, there was a feeling that um, it was advertised uh, uh, on a number of occasions uh, and, and uh, no business uh, seemed to come forward for it. Uh, it. There's been a stay of execution by the looks of things for a year. We've had in the past uh, threats to the post office in Sutton. Uh, we had the post office being closed. Uh, We've no post uh, direct post office service in the North Coolock area, in a very large uh, area, populated area. Uh, so, um, there, there, there is, you know, you're, you're, you're presiding over a massive national business uh, with, with nearly two million customers with nine and a half thousand employees and uh, like you need to move on it in a strategic way minister and so far uh, you, your, your approach has been disappointing minister thanks Ken. Uh, thank you Deputy Bruin um, for your question maybe not your comments but your question uh, look the reality is and you yourself have have said it if you've towns like Holt where there is no one willing to come forward to take on the business uh, then you know, there's a fundamental question that needs to be asked there. Uh, and how do we, uh, you know, modernise uh, the offering so that people will want to take it on? Like, what hope have we to, to keep uh, post offices, sub-post offices in rural Ireland if in towns like Holt uh, people are not prepared to take on uh, the post office? And I think the key thing here is to, to use digital as the driver in relation to it. Like, we all know about it in relation to, to social welfare, and particularly older people uh, using the post office. And I think there is a huge opportunity there for the postmaster to be used as the gateway to the digital world. Uh, I think there's an opportunity there in relation to, to state services, 
but non-state services as well. Uh, you know, websites like switcher.ie and bonkers.ie, they can offer people, you know, up to €300 Euro of a saving on their electricity and gas bills. And yet, a lot of older people are not availing of that because they're not able or willing to go online to do that. There's an opportunity for a service that could be provided in the local post office. There are many more similar services that could be provided uh, to support what the government is doing uh, at the moment. But on the other side of it, you have, we need to get young people to start going into the post offices again as well. Like it's not just good enough that the only time people go into the post office is at Christmas to buy a stamp or in the summer to get a passport. Thank you. Final question. Thank you. Like you need to take the initiative, uh, like we read about the new smart account and so on, but we've been talking about this, about current accounts. We had the example, I think, in New Zealand of the Kiwi Bank uh, run by the post office network. Uh, the, 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 the report I refer to, um, uh, obviously um, um, put forward the idea of close liaison with the credit union movement. Uh, we, we have the example of the Sparkassen uh, Bank in, in Germany, headquartered in Bonn. There's a whole range of, of measures, but it, it seems to me it still does need you, uh, to, you know, to take the leading role. Uh, you mentioned in relation to um, uh, towns like Hoth, uh, uh, it, it struck me, in fact, during the period in which my constituents, were, particularly the older constituents, deeply concerned about the possible closure, that there didn't seem to be any dynamic approach from for example, the Chief Executive of Unpost, uh, Mr McRedmond, to our local Chamber of Commerce. There didn't seem to be any liaison with you know, the uh, uh, major existing businesses uh, to, uh, to encourage them to ensure that this key uh, aspect of uh, a social community framework would stay in place in, in the peninsula in, in, in their area. So I do think it, need, it does need a much more dynamic approach from you uh, to, to publish uh, the, the uh, strategic plan, uh, to get on with it, uh, to try and centre uh, our post offices, and I'm aware of many po the post office operation and how vital they are in areas, for example, like the Berra Peninsula, uh, where you know they provide a focal point, I think, in, in, in all the towns oh and villages for, for our communities. But it needs your example, I think. You mentioned, by the way, in, in relation to IT, uh, I think there is, you know, certainly is scope, Minister. the return of parcels, but uh, there's a lot of scope for, uh, for UNPUS to take a leading role in that, oh uh, because we know, for example, that um, some, of the IT, uh, some of the email providers, such as, for example, Google, uh, there seems to be question Thank marks you, over, their, over their Minister security. Thanks, sir. Uh, yeah, and, and just taking off from your final point, and I know Deputy Dooley was critical of me earlier, but like the reality is that with the, the rollout of fibre across rural Ireland at the moment, uh, within the next 77 weeks, 97% of post offices will have access to, to high-speed broadband. And that's a piece of infrastructure now that needs to be exploited and fully utilised to benefit communities, to, to benefit older people in communities, people that are not have access to the internet at the moment. Like one in seven people in Ireland have never used the internet. There are huge opportunities there for them. And I think the post office can be the way to do that, both in urban and uh, in rural Ireland. And I think we need to actually actually fully exploit that. And in fairness, I have to say that the Chief Executive uh, of OnPost, David McRedmond, gets it. In fairness to him, he sees the opportunity in relation to the development of financial services, of the, the parcel system, of, of using what's happening in relation to the digital economy as an enabler to drive the business forward. Uh, and work is ongoing in relation to what's happening in the Carroll Report, uh, the feedback that's coming in through McKinsey's and New Era in relation to that. Uh, but ultimately, the board will have to make a decision uh, in relation to this. And that work is ongoing. There is ongoing engagement on a regular basis uh, with my department, and that will continue until we have uh, a blueprint for the future. We move on to question the priority three, question 55, 30 seconds.